Hi, good morning, boys and girls. Nothing like the open sea air makes my heart sing the happiest of melodies. <sighs> or maybe I'm just hungry. <sighs> Ahoy, Grubba Dub. Fear Facer, what are you doing here? My stomach is making some horrible noises. I need something to eat. That was your stomach? I thought we hit a whale. Sure, I can whip you up something. I'll have the usual. A peanut butter and banana sandwich. Only, instead of bread, could I have a donut? Instead of a banana, can I have a fried mozzarella stick? How about you have some of the guacamole that I'm making? Guacamole? I don't want guac or mole! But Fear Facer, it's good for you. If you want to be strong for your adventures, you're going to have to eat more than pizza and donuts. Well, you've got me there. Well, kids, I for one am terrified of this strange guacamole nonsense, but I will face that fear with my secret three-step attack. Learn, observe, face. Whenever I'm scared to try something new, I always try to learn as much as I can about the thing that I'm scared of. So grub a dub what can you tell me about this strange guacamole nonsense? Well, first off, it's pronounced guacamole. It's Spanish, and it's not new. The Aztecs made it hundreds of years before Mexico became a country. What's in it? Well, the key ingredients are avocados, which are seasoned with salt, pepper, lime juice, and love. You can add tomatoes and onions if you want. But why put makeup on something so naturally beautiful? But what about the moles? How many moles do you put in it? There aren't any moles. But the name says... There are no moles. Okay, so now that I've learned that there are no moles in this gross green slime, grub dub has decided to give us a demonstration of how to partake in a guacamole. Take it away. Pay attention. With my dominant hand, I grab a tortilla chip with my finger and thumb. With one steady motion, I bring said chip into the bowl of guacamole while twisting my wrist, creating a shovel-like motion. Twist the wrist. Got it. Now here's where it gets tricky. You don't want to scoop up too much guacamole. You're dipping the chip's toes in water, not baptizing it. A lot of beginners mess this up. Once the correct amount is scooped, bring the chip to the mouth and insert the green side first and let your taste buds do the rest. <laughs> your turn, Captain. Stop that, stop that right now. Today, we learned that there are no moles in guacamole. Oh, and that the correct pronunciation is guacamole, and it was invented by the Aztecs. And lastly, that guacamole is quite possibly the greatest single food on this earth. Fairfacer, you better come out right now. That guacamole was made to feed the whole ship. <laughs>